I'm going in, don't you try to stop me now. I'm going in, I'm at the top of the game. I'm super excited to record today because I haven't been able to record in such a long time. So what we're going to talk about in this video is how to get the best performance on any game on Steam. Um, preferably, I mean more more so, uh, the games that run with more graphics um, like Fortnite, PUBG, Counter-Strike, things like that. Um, things that are high process based um, and that need strong computers. So this is a Windows 7 computer, it's a Core i3 and I'm going to show you guys how to run games on a Core i3 CPU. Um, it's a 6 gigabytes of RAM, 64 uh, bit operating system which is Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, we're going to go through the steps here on how to, uh, again, get the best performance with your Core i3 CPU when you're playing games. So without further ado, I'm not going to go ahead and explain every single last bit of this. I'm going to just show you guys how to get the best performance. If you guys want detailed description, subscribe to me. I have other videos on this, tons of other videos on this, and I'll put some again in the description for you so you guys can go check them out. Um, but I have tons of videos on this, like I said, so I'm not going to explain every single setting. Just know that, you know, I've tested them. Many people have tested them and they all work um, to, again, increase your FPS and make your computer run smoother um, when you have a low processing computer or a low process based computer like a Core i3, Core i5 even sometimes, uh, depending on which one nowadays. Um, they all run um, pretty slow when it comes to the newer games. So what we're going to want to do is just follow these steps. If you have any questions, post in the comment section. But we're going to go through them um, pretty fast. And I just want to uh, make this video really concise and, and to the point. And I'm, I'm babbling on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first things first, you want to start with your computer settings. In your computer, obviously, you want it to run as fast as possible so it can do all the processes it needs to do while it's running the game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click Start type in system configuration click on this at the top system configuration you'll get this window now you're going to want to select or hit selective startup load system services tech check these two boxes click boot make sure you click advanced options and click number of processors go to the highest number that you have click on the highest number click pci lock click ok apply and ok It'll say exit without restart or restart. You're just going to want to click exit without restart. Actually, there's one more thing in that same menu. We'll go back and look. So go back to system configuration. Go to startup and make sure all these are unchecked. Make sure nothing, uh, no programs are starting up with your computer. So untick all of these boxes and click apply. Then we're going to go over to services. Click manufacturer. Then in manufacturer, you're going to see all these ones that say Microsoft don't disable any of these but what you're gonna want to do is uncheck the rest of these boxes so as you can see here all these boxes you're just gonna want to uncheck them click apply click OK exit without restart and then what we're gonna want to do next is go down here to start type disk cleanup this is like the, the I guess the most common thing people do let that run in the background we're gonna go to start again type percent TMP percent click on this folder delete everything in it this is all the temporary da data that's stored in your computer from browsing the internet and, and doing different operations so what we're gonna do is delete everything in there that can be deleted the things that can't be or that are left in here are being used so you can't delete them go to your recycling bin and make sure well, drag right here you empty it let this cl disk clean up just run in the background. Then we're going to go to start again. Type disk defrag. At the top, click on disk defragmenter. Let this load up. Click on disk C and type defragment or click on disk uh, defragment disk. Let this run until it's done. It'll say 100% here when it's done. And again, just let this and disk clean up run for a second. Now what we're going to want to do is go to start, type in services. Services little uh, icon will pop up at the top. Click on that. Wait for the window to pop up. And once the window pops up, I'll explain what we do in here because this is pretty important. So every time you restart your computer, these services will start, um, start and stop. So basically, you're going to have to go to services pretty much every time you launch your game. 
click start type in services you're gonna want to go to status right here click it and then click it again so that all the ones that are started go to the top of the screen now that you see everything that started you can see what you can stop now most people you know you know what you have on your computer you know what's supposed to be running and what's not so you can right click on the things that aren't supposed to be running and click stop now there is one way to get past this so if you click or right click on one of these things or one of these uh, applications and then click properties you can actually stop it and go to startup type change it to disabled and that you would only want to do to the programs that you don't want to use at all so I'll scroll down here you guys can see sort of what I have um, disabled and uh, and get uh, an idea of what what to disable so again things like Windows backup Windows search Windows update um, parental controls the print spooler um, the telephone Google update things like that you can right click click properties and again just disable and stop them click apply and click OK and that way your computer runs a lot faster because it's not running them background press processes for all these different programs now what we're gonna want to do is get out of this alright so what you're gonna want to do now is go down to start again go to computer right here right click it go to properties you'll get the screen I'm on right now and then you're gonna click advanced system settings right here you'll get this dialog box go to performance under the advanced tab at the top go to performance click settings bring this up go to custom and the only box you're gonna want to have checked is show thumbnails instead of icons once you do that click apply and then click OK click OK and we're done there as well now what we're gonna want to do is go down to the taskbar right click it go to start task manager let this screen show up and then from here we're gonna go to processes when you're on this screen open up steam and once you have steam open as you can see I have steam open right now what you're gonna to want to do is go down to where it says steam.exe right here right click that go to set priority and go to high then click change priority when the dialog box pops up once you do that all you're going to want to do is exit out of this and you can see my disk cleanup ran from earlier so if you did run disk cleanup earlier just tick all these boxes click OK delete files we'll let that finish and it will go away by itself alright so that's it for the computer side we're gonna go over to the Steam and actual game client side of performance so I'm gonna show you guys what settings to use for Steam and what settings to use for your game in order to get higher FPS and better performance all right, so something that we have to talk about as well is the video settings within your actual game. So what you're gonna want to do, and I'll go ahead and close this right here. Uh, so what you're gonna want to do is open up your game, of course, go to your video settings, um, wherever the settings menu is on that specific game. On Counter Strike, it says gear on the side. Click it, go to video settings, and what we're gonna want to do is change the aspect ratio to four by three if it's available. Click normal four by three aspect ratio. Then set the resolution to the lowest resolution possible. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to display mode, keep it in full screen when you're playing your game, um, and keep every other setting um, as far as like the shadow quality, the model and texture detail, effect detail, shader detail. Keep this at the lowest setting as well. So all these, as you can see, are as low as possible. Uh, keep multi-core rendering on. You're going to want to uh, turn off uh, anti-aliasing. Um, then we have, what is it, texture filtering mode. Keep that in the lowest setting as well. Make sure you disable vertical sync and motion blur, and then click apply. And that's basically all you do in your video settings for your game. So the video settings for your game, you're just going to replicate what I just did um, with whatever game you're using. And, and that's how you're going to get the best performance out of that game. Alright, so this will be for all of the games and the settings that you should use for the actual game in order to get better performance on the game. Um, so what you're going to want to do is start Steam, go to the library, go to games, go to the game that you want to improve performance on, and you're going to want to right click on the name of it. Once you right click it, go to properties at the bottom, you'll get this dialog box that pops up. 
what you're going to want to do here is untick both these boxes. Okay, so after you untick both these boxes, what we're going to want to do next is go over here to local files and click view integrity of game files. Once you click on that, this will load. It will take a second, so just let it load in the background while we continue the rest of this tutorial. Once it's done, it'll go away by itself. So it's just going to verify that all the game files work and that none of them have issues. And while that does, what we're going to want to do is go over here to general, go to set launch options. And there's some launch options that work for almost every single game on Steam that you're going to want to use. And that's these ones right here. So if you look at my screen, we're going to want to use all the launch options from here over. And I'll put these in the description just to bring them up here so you guys can see them a little bit better. There are these launch options. No joy. Takes away the joystick settings in the game. High sets it high priority. Full screen keeps it full screen. It lets the game know that it's going into full screen before it launches. Tick rate 128. Uh, it just makes it a higher bitrate game um, and content in general, um, but it doesn't again. It doesn't change uh, your FPS or you know make it uh, use more performance. Uh, no vid takes out the intro, so the beginning video of the game, like that little that video that plays before you get to the main menu. That's what no vid does. It takes that out. Uh, no 3DX. Um, it basically takes out the 3D settings for the game. Um, LV, I'm not too sure what it does. Um, pretty sure, I don't know. LV, just put LV in there. Um, I'll think about it here in a second. Um, and Matt, Q mode 2 um, is just a uh, uh, graphics um, modification that you use in, again, uh, Steam games to um, help with performance. So this will take out a lot of the things that aren't needed as far as the graphics and um, allow for it to run a lot faster. So those are the launch options that you're going to want to use for your game. Alright, so make sure that you guys complete all the steps in this video in the same way that I did. Make sure that you're, you know, using the same method and going through the steps in the same, uh, I mean, I guess not the same order, but at least doing the same exact uh, tasks. So all these tasks performed together combined for that good performance on, on again, a Core i3 processor. Um, so if you guys want good performance, if you want your game to work um, as well as mine does, and I'll show you guys a clip of my gameplay here in a second to show you how well it runs. Um, but if you want it to run, you know, 50 to 60, 60 FPS on a Core i3, then you're going to have to do all these steps before launching your game. Um, and again, all of these steps pretty much are solid, like you don't have to go in and change them multiple times. Um, the things you're going to want to do um, more than once, I would say, is let's move this screen down a little bit is the disk cleanup so disk cleanup this thing you're going to want to run several times um, throughout the week if you use your computer a lot uh, also also disk defrag uh, you're going to want to use this a few times throughout the week depending on how much uh, you use your computer um, and those two things uh, minimize the amount of uh, space on your hard drive get rid of uh, you know cache that doesn't need to be on your computer and uh, cookies that are stored on your computer as well and all the, all the temporary files that are stored on your computer get deleted through this. So those are things that are important and the last thing is the services. So in the services menu these things that are started up again when you click status up here and you see what's started um, in, the st in the status column. Making sure that you stop the tasks that you don't need to run are, is also very like a very essential step before you play your game. So this is something you want to do or check before you play in general because a lot of these things you stop, they'll start up by themselves again or you know they'll start because you start using a different piece of software or for any reason. So check this, make sure that all these um, again uh, services in here um, that are started are supposed to be started and you know not iTunes and Adobe Reader updates and stuff like that all that stuff can be stopped and disabled as I showed you guys earlier so make sure you guys keep track of this because again those are very important steps into making your computer run as fast as possible um, and that's basically it um, if you guys have any questions post in the comment section below 
make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more videos if you have any questions again post in the comment section i respond to almost every not every single question obviously but as many as i can and um if you want you can also go to my social media accounts the links in the description and send me questions there so if you guys have any questions let me know i know i stress that um but this is a tech channel and i'm um, getting feedback and understanding you know how the processes processes are working for you is like key to this to this channel working so we're gonna keep building and keep growing so make sure that again if you have any you know anything any ideas any um issue that you're bringing it to light so that we can uh, fix it as a community so other than that again i'll see you guys next time make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys later all right so i forgot to show you guys actually the gameplay um of how the performance worked so after after all of those steps sorry um we get this product so as you guys can see i'm running at about 60 to 70 fps this game is smooth as can be and uh we're running, we have no issues, like literally I ran into zero issues uh, playing Counter-Strike and again I was getting 60 to 70 FPS which was smooth and again I was on the Core i3 2120 3.30 GHz uh, CPU and and for that just that right there proves that this method is something that everybody needs to go ahead and implement if you're getting slow or a low amount of FPS in general um, go ahead and implement all of these steps if you have followed them and you're experiencing issues Please let me know the exact issue and uh, Let me help so let me know what steps you took um, Let me know um, Just all that information so I can help you guys figure out how to get more FPS and how to increase um, Your gaming performance on again on the low end computers. So if you guys have any questions post it below Other than that, I'll see you guys next time Snakes up in my grass, fuck a fake, not on my level, yeah I've been too hard to catch, not a